Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 105 of my Dire Wolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> Can't you tell I am compressed Iron Man? <laughs> Look, see? It's true. I am compressed Iron Man right here. If I wear a full suit of pneumatic armor, and I can upgrade each piece with the charging station. So there. It's true. I'm compressed Iron Man. <laughs> I've never worn compressed iron suit. I've, I've put on the helmet a couple of times, uh, but that's about it. So I wanted to see what it was about. I don't have like all the upgrades that I could possibly want on this. Um, there are a few that I would like to have that I don't, but uh, I need to do a little bit more prep work. Like uh, there's supposedly a, you can get the elytra on the chest piece, but by, from the looks of it, let me see uh, if I could. Um, it's like the upgrades. If I can spell. Okay, so on the chest piece here, the elytra upgrade can only go on the chest, but of course it takes an elytra. And if you, if you come over here to the charging station, let's just put, I guess, well, let's put this in there so I can see. Uh, here it is, the Elytra upgrade. What is that noise? Okay. Uh, allows elytra gliding just as if you are wearing a vanilla elytra. No durability damage is taken in return for a minor air cost while actively, actively gliding. Works well in conjunction with jet boots and the smart hover mode. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't have an extra elytra because I, I had an extra elytra because... Um, Things were a little bit buggy when I defeated the Ender Dragon. Like, I had the little rollback thing, but I still had all my inventory on me. But the kind of uh, <laughs> uh, the world reverted back and the, the Ender Dragon had respawned. So I had to kill it again. And then I went and found the End City again and got a second Elytra. So if I want a third elytra, I have to go look for it. And this says it goes in conjunction with jet boots and the smart hover mode. So jet boots is right here. Uh, I'm not sure which one of these gets uh, the smart hover mode. So let's go and look at the boots. Right, uh, here's the stomp upgrade. I would definitely like to see the stomp upgrade. <laughs> when active, will damage nearby monsters if you drop on them from a great height. The damage done and air consumed is proportional to how fast you hit the ground. <laughs> oh, that sounds like so much fun. Anyway, um, so I made the jump boot, the jet boots upgrade. But I only got to tier 3. Once I got to tier 4, I need to start uh, getting Phantom Membranes. I have Nether Stars, and I can probably make these potions of slow falling. I just don't know if I have Phantom Membranes, so I might have to uh, spend a couple of nights out <laughs> uh, to see if I can get them to spawn. As well as like uh, the tier five upgrades cost another elytra, so I would need two sets of elytra to get flight on this suit. Um, 
but I would definitely like to check it out just to see what it's like. Um, let's see, that's the jet boot. Okay, I was going to say, could I do stomp? I mean, how do you even do stomp on there? But I did install quite a bit of upgrades on the helmet. I, I don't know how to utilize it though, you know? Oh, here it goes. Do, 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 installing. Oh, initialization complete. That is kind of cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to do a little bit more on that in order to play around with it some more. <laughs> so, I have been busy. Uh, I didn't get an episode the last couple of days. I just was not, I was not up to it. Uh, but check it out. Okay, so I've been having this problem over here <laughs> with uh, with my setup. I just kind of fiddled with it a little bit and hopefully I, I don't think it's going to help. I'm having an issue running out of dust the certus quartz dust and and these machines just empty uh, <laughs> uh, so it sucks out all of the certus quartz crystals and then it winds up using up all the dust to try to make more certus quartz crystals and the certus quartz crystals just keep getting sucked up and they use up everything so i don't really know how to um, to manage that because uh, the Certus Quartz Crystal, I, I mean, I can't like just prioritize it because uh, the Certus Quartz Crystal that's going into this machine is being automatically fed from this machine. Uh, so I just assumed that uh, that would take priority <laughs> over what's coming out of the top um which does work it does happen but then once this um once this extraction card kicks in it just starts grabbing everything <laughs> it's like, I, want, I want gems give me now uh, but I don't know, it was working fine until I increased the capacity of these. Uh, but this one seemed to work fine, but I think I used less of the Fluix Crystal than I do the Certus Quartz. So I use a lot more, so it probably will happen eventually over here, <laughs> just once I use some enough. But it was easy enough to fix, I just grabbed some... Uh, Certus Quartz dust out of here. Uh, I remove my extraction card so it can't extract the Certus Quartz. And uh, then I put the Certus Quartz dust in here so it starts building up. And then everything works fine. I, it gets going for a little while and I put the extraction card back in. And then, <laughs> and then it's fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, look at this. This is what I've been doing. I've just been kind of chilling, um, putting my little export bus on different uh, drive bays to have it fill them in. And I've just been making drives. Um, I have been doing other things too. Let me see if it's auto crafting it yet. I, I just logged on earlier and sometimes it has issue getting going so I might have to break him and replace it uh, just like when <laughs> when I first log on just for some reason it doesn't like the logging off thing there we go hook him back up a boop uh, maybe that will Get on with it then. Okay, so the other thing that I've been doing. Oh man, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's clear. 
boom, boom, boom. Everything's clear. Look at that. I got all the stuff and things cleared away. Um, this one wasn't like a full level, uh, but I couldn't really go up any farther because here is the, the tippity top of the elevator. I still haven't gotten these pneumatic trap doors working, <laughs> but yeah. I am going to come through later and uh, replace all these blocks with slabs and and I guess just do the plain uh, black background, I guess. Hey, what are you doing over here? You don't belong. Get out of here. Okay. So yeah, I should be able to start uh, rebuilding my mob farms and such. Uh, Dude, the elevator still keeps breaking on the way down. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if there's just anything to be done about that. Uh, kind of, kind of stinky. But what are you gonna do? I want to check and see if it's going yet. It's my goal. I have to have all these drive bays with drives in them. It just it has to happen. Okay, so. My thing is, is, um, like, I want to play around with, um, Mechanism 2. Uh, I also do check this out. Okay, this is in my other AE system. I mean, not my other AE system. My other fine storage system. So, look at that. What? I gotta go check on my power I don't have this automatically hooked up yet. It won't feed. It's still, this is still the original chest uh, that I filled up with uranium when I first built this uh, reactor over here. Ooh, look, more cyanide. Uh, yeah, I just don't have that stuff hooked up yet. I can do it, but it's just I gotta prioritize. <laughs> but I can build another reactor. Let's see. How is my little guy going? Look at him. <laughs> he's He's been working so hard and only got 110 giga FE, uh, I think is what it's called, out of 1.6 tera FE. So yeah, um, dude, it would be cool if pneumatic craft had like a pneumatic shield. Is is that a good thing? Is this an obsidian skull shield? That looks kind of cool. Oh, there's an, a heavy plated shield from immersive engineering. Um, that sounds kind of cool. And a steel shield for mechanism. Ooh. Uh, so there are a few options. I just think, um, yeah, my, my enchanter shield looks kind of out of place with this uh, pneumatic craft suit. Oh, I wish there was a mechanism one. That would be kind of cool. I could see like a mechanism one. I mean, not, not a mechanism, a pneumatic craft one. Like a pneumatic craft one would have some little gadget set up in the shield that would sort of just, anytime you would block with it, it would like pop out, smack the person in the face who you're fighting, you know? Smack! <laughs> I don't know. So, um... Yeah, let's let's see about making another shield. I think I should have everything here. Just make up some steel, get a shield, and boom. There we go. That looks a little bit better, right? Dun dun dun. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Boink, boink. <laughs> now I just need um, like what is the pneumatic craft weapon? Uh, I think they have. 
drones. <laughs> but I can't wield a drone. I don't know. Um, let's look. Uh, I think they have. I know in like Crash Landing they had some sort of yeah a minigun. Um, this is pretty cool because. This is like the only type of ranged weapon that will work against Endermen. <laughs> this was like crucial uh, in Crash Landing because there were like tons of Endermen. Um, well, there were tons of everything, but this gun you could shoot at Endermen and they wouldn't like teleport away. So that was pretty cool. But it didn't, it didn't have pressure, so that's different. Um, this handheld weapon requires gun ammo to operate, which must be placed in the gun's magazine. Sneak right-click to access the magazine. Sneak plus scroll wheel. Cycle locked ammo slot. This minigun can be upgraded in a charging station. <clears throat> so what is that? Um, yeah, that looks like... I could make everything, so I really want to do the stuff. Let's look at this one. Um, this just looks like a tool. That's a tool. A manometer. A logistics configurator. Uh, but yeah, let's do the minigun. A pneumatic jackhammer. I bet that's for mining. Maybe. Powerful and versatile digging multi-tool. Install a drill bit to use. That's kind of cool. um, okay, let's make the minigun. We got some missing pieces. Uh, but we can make those. And what was the chest? No. Um... No, I don't want to use that chest. I seriously don't have a chest recipe yet. <laughs> um, wait a second. Wait a second. I can I can do this. Bum 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 ba -da. I have I know I have a chest recipe over there. Work. And now go minigun. What, what, what? Oh! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Look at that. Uh, let's go get him some juice. Where'd you go, buddy? And I put some speed upgrades on here because it was taking forever to charge up all that stuff. Now we need some minigun ammo. Uh, now I have gotten some special ammo, I think. Let's go check this out. I think it's at my cozy cottage. Uh, over here. No. Okay, it must just be in the system. Ammo? I could have swore. Oh, anyway, we'll just um, we'll just make some some new minigun ammo. Wrap with a potion to tip the bullets. I just want regular minigun ammo. Look at that: compressed iron, a gold, and a gunpowder. Ouch! It's got a thousand ammo in it. Um. So you. Shift right click. Oh, and it can hold four. <gasps> and you can the minigun will normally draw ammo from the lowest numbered slot which contains any ammo. Middle click a slot to lock that slot. When locked, the minigun will draw ammo from that slot only. Middle click a locked slot to unlock it. 
locking slots is useful if you're carrying multiple ammo types. Oh, look at that. It's got like a little... I want to make a couple more of those. Uh, oh, I'm missing compressed iron. Did I go into... There we go. Uh, one, two... I don't think those stack. Um, okay, so shift. Boom, boom, boom. And then... Uh, since they're all the same, uh, it really doesn't matter, so I don't need to do this stuff. Oh, look at it. It's got, like, a little sight. <laughs> what? What? Okay, right-click does the thing. Uh, I don't know how to use this. Okay. Um, let's go find us a... I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a wilden something or another around here. I could go get it. <gasps> a sheep. A sheep. Here's a sheep. <laughs> what? It used like 12 shots and it didn't kill it? It's like a machine gun. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I don't know if I like that. I'd probably need to get, I guess, some speed upgrades and maybe it would charge up sooner or quicker. Uh... Yeah, I don't need, I don't really know what kind of upgrades it can take. So let's go check it out. Which we can do. Come on, fly. Over here. What kind of boys can you get? Uh, volume, item life, speed upgrade would be handy dandy. What is it? Prevents the mini gun from damaging tamed entities and other players. This has no extra air cost. That would be cool, um, I guess. But what is this? Each dispenser upgrade increases the chance of ammo effects being activated. This can significantly increase air usage depending on the ammo type in use. Got it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't. Oh, that would be cool to increase the range. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, oh, give me my gun. That's kind of cool. I just want to play with it and stuff. Um. Yeah, but I would really like to get um further into mechanism i was wanting to um do something with mechanism and i couldn't because i need in order to get into that oh i know what it was i was going to install the radiation shielding on here um but then realized that i need the h what is it hdpe uh, sheets. Um, let's look. Read the radi. No, not the gilded. The radiation shielding upgrade requires the radiation shielding unit for mechanism. Uh, and if I'm going to have to go into mechanism, I might as well make that suit of armor too, you know, and put the shielding on it instead of the Mattercraft one. Um, I did put all the armor upgrades on it, so I am getting, you know. It's equivalent to like diamond armor stuff. So I guess what we'll do today is what do we have to do for mechanism HDPE sheets uh, in order to get the sheets 
you need uh, pellets, you can make uh, use three pellets to make a sheet in an enrichment chamber or eight to make a sheet in the crafting table. Boy, that's a no-brainer. Definitely put them into the enrichment chamber. Uh, and to get HDPE pellets, you have to do this. <laughs> you have to get substrate and put this in a pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, so we need substrate in a pressurized reaction chamber and it takes oxygen and liquid ethylene. Uh, now we know how to get oxygen. You can uh, <laughs> do the um, electrolytic separator with water, you get hydrogen and oxygen or honey or chocolate or white chocolate or hot chocolate. Wow. <laughs> or or any other liquid it looks like. Um, but you get hydrogen and oxygen from electrolytic separator. So let's do, that's oxygen. Let's do liquid ethylene. And we'll put the electrolytic separator by the oxygen, right? Okay, so, um, and then What? Oh, you can have two different recipes. Oh, this one like dupes it, I guess. So if you use a substrate. Yeah. So we're going to need, it looks like, um, Wait a minute, liquid ethylene. Let's get that. Uh, pressurized reaction chamber. Oh. So it looks like in order to make the ethylene, uh, hydrogen, biomass, or honey, liquid experience, or water. So water would work, water and hydrogen. Looks like <clears throat> they're all 10 millibuckets. Uh, to 100 hydrogen and some biofuel, some ethylene is um, hydrogen, biofuel, and I guess uh, where it's the water water and <laughs> we have to make biofuel which could be on anything oh dude look at the watermelon slice that gives you four and watermelon slices are pretty common uh one thing <laughs> that i might want to do before setting this up oh five for potatoes too that would be good uh so we got or for a melon slice or five for a potato. Um, potatoes probably are a little bit easier to grow than watermelon. And it's a little bit more. So, ooh, a baked potato would give you seven. That's kind of cool. If you were to take one extra step with the potato, you get eight from a cake, but that's a lot of work to do for, you know, one more uh, doodad. I think it looks like potato. Oh, a cookie will give you seven. Hang on. Because <laughs> uh, that's like, um, is it... I always forget, is it two wheat and a cocoa, or is it two cocoa and a wheat? I always forget. Um, but let's let's look. Uh, cookie might be the way to go. I would have to make um, cocoa bean farm. 
but I don't know. It'd be different. Carrots, um, but still the baked potato. You could get a potato and bake it pretty easily and then send it into, uh, be turned into biomass. Get seven for a bread, but that's three wheat. Um, I guess unless there's alternate recipes, uh, like in before, I know with Pam's Harvest Craft, there was a way where you could make bread with a bit of dough and the dough would only take one wheat. So you could make bread with one. Uh, so yeah, you could make bread dough from Create or Mine Colonies. Ooh. And this just takes wheat flour and a bucket of water. So, but this you have to, oh, it does take three wheat for that one. So, uh, but you could do this. I don't know. Uh, oh, you could put wheat dough. Oh, that's cool. Just put the dough in some water with a fan and boom, you don't have to combine it with a bucket. That super cool um but i'm liking the cookies so far I don't know. The cookies just seem to make sense um nether wart block interesting mushroom stem uh yeah hay bale all the flowers are cool, but it's, um, dude, uh, we'll look at that. I, Cause I just had an idea. I thought I saw like a rose bush at the very beginning. And if it's, oh, look, a sunflower, you could totally turn one piece of bone meal into five biofuel by multiplying these flowers and then eating them. So, I don't know. Cookies sound pretty good to me. I just have to, ooh, pumpkin pie gives you eight. That's pumpkin, sugar cane, and an egg. So well, that's a lot of work. It's a mushroom block. I don't know. So, I mean, cookies look pretty good, but... I mean, that would be two crops that I would have to grow. Um, cocoa beans and wheat versus the potato which would be, would be just one crop, um, and then you cook it. It's an extra step, but it's just one crop. So it would be a little bit easier, I think, to do the potato, the baked potato. So let's take that guy off. We're going to do the baked potato. Baked potato. Or biofuel. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, this is a lot of work. Um, why is the slab over there? I don't know. So yeah, I guess our first step is to get a crusher producing biofuel uh, out of baked potatoes. Um, I don't really know... I don't have like a farm going right now so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to set up a I don't know I haven't done a is it thermal um, I forgot what the farming one is called. Uh, 
phytogenic insulator. That's what it is. It looks different. I thought it had a circle on top. So I was looking. I think we should be able to get that stuff very quickly. Phytogenic insulator. I know I'm cheating and I'm using my other. Look at that. Uh, so I'm going to see if this one machine will produce enough for us. Uh, I don't know, though. So it's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's kind of been 30 minutes already. But I will set this guy up and hopefully get some baked potatoes. I guess we'll need like a little uh, furnace to feed this stuff into and and power <laughs> so um maybe we'll just use a redstone furnace um i don't know do i have the bricks over there hopefully i do yes we can just make a little redstone furnace uh if this isn't fast enough with some speed upgrades um I can always switch over to a mech, a mech furnace and un upgrade the crap out of it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if how fast this is going to grow. So we'll have to see. What is this raw nickel? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to play around with this a little bit in between episodes, but. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.